deacon. That's too long. I was a deacon for 10 weeks, and I wish I had stayed for two years. But the church doesn't need deacons. No offense. <laughs> the church needs priests. It's nice to have deacons, of course. And before you can reach the level of priest, you must serve as a deacon at least one day. But the need is greater for priests than deacons at this time in the church. And so the time has come. You studied well in Johnstown. You are an exemplary student, always the best grades, always offering insight above and beyond what was required of you and asked of you. You have served the church as a deacon, as we said, for two months. You served as a sub-deacon for some amount of time and as a reader. But you have reached now the point of the priesthood at the level of the priest. The priesthood, of course, includes the deacons and the bishops, but the priest level is the second. For today we go to that level. The future, who knows where it can go. But today, priest. And so I know you have prepared yourself. I know you have done those things necessary to achieve this level. It is a great blessing for you and for your family and for the church and for me to have you reach this moment. We have been looking forward to it. It has come. The deacons were created because the bishops needed help. The bishops being the apostles. They didn't create the priests until later. And so you have served as the assistant to the bishop via Father Lawrence here. <coughs> and you know, historically, they were to serve those who were neglected. The widows, the orphans, serve the tables. But for the priesthood now, you don't get rid of that ministry. You just add still are responsible for the orphans and the widows and the tables, but now more responsibilities and duties will come to you because of this position and this uh, honor that the church, through the Holy Spirit, of course, brings to you. There will be good days and there will be bad days. My hope is that the good days will definitely outnumber the bad days. But don't be naive, because I know you're not. The bad days will come. Pray through them, and you'll be fine. Know that there will be times of happiness, times of great joy, great sadness. But this is life. It's full of these emotions. Love your people, because you will be their shepherd. You will be responsible for all of their souls. From this moment on, the people you encounter, you are responsible for them. That's a heavy burden to understand and to work through and to carry as a minister. But God chose you to be a priest before you were conceived in your mother's womb. He knew you from the beginning. So now we fulfill His wish, His will that you reach this point. And so if you're ready, and I think you are, Father, can you come to one side and Father Lawrence to the other side and just bring him in?
creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and was made man. He was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he arose again according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life in the world to come. Amen. I also profess that there are seven mysteries in the Church of God. Baptism, chrismation, holy Eucharist, confession, holy unction, holy orders, and matrimony. I believe that there is but one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And I promise obedience to his all holiness, ecumenical patriarch, Bartholomew, and to His Grace, Bishop Gregory, and to their successors. Furthermore, I believe all these things which the Holy Orthodox Church of Constantinople ordains to be believed. I promise that I shall not leave to the end of my life the church and parish which will be appointed to me, but that I shall tend to it conscientiously, nor depart into another parish, nor into another diocese, without the proper blessing of the archpastor. And I am promising honestly to all this May the Lord God help me, one in the Holy Trinity, and to this Holy Gospel. Let us be attentive. Divine grace, which always heals the ill, and fills that which is lacking, promotes Daniel, the God-fearing deacon, to the priesthood. Let us pray for him that the grace of the Holy Spirit may come upon him, and let us all sing. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who is without beginning and end, who is older than all creation, who has adorned with the name of the Presbyter those who deserve to sanctify the word of your truth in this rank, O Master of all, grant to this one, whom you have pleased to ordain through me, to receive the great grace of your Holy Spirit in a blameless life in an unshaken faith and grant to him your servant to lead a perfect and worthy life doing in all things what is pleasing to you as you have chosen in your power which knows all things before their existence to bestow upon him this great honor of the priesthood for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Who is 
now ordained, and for his salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Thou mercy for God graciously give him a pure and spotless priesthood. Let us pray to the Lord. Protect us, Lord God, by your grace. Oh, have mercy. The of the Holy of the Blessed and Joyous Lady, the birth giver of God and of the Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another of our life unto Christ our God. Sanctify the word of your truth, offer these gifts and spiritual sacrifices, and renew your people in the bath of rebirth, in order that he also, at the time of the second coming of the great God and Savior Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, may meet him and receive the reward of good stewardship in this office, in the greatness of your kindness. For blessed and glorified is your most honorable and majestic name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Absolutely. 